Hello, my name's Adam Smith. My background is in developing and analysing patient reported outcome measures. I work in the outcomes research team at York Health Economics Consortium. This short webinar provides you with a brief introduction to what problems are. We will also have another webinar in which I review the use and the evidence for problems. Patient reported outcomes is an umbrella term and it refers to measures that come directly from patients or service users without any intervention from their doctor, their nurse or family members. Patient reported outcome measures are the tools that we use to capture this information directly from patients. Historically, PROMs were used in clinical practice. Over the years, they have become more incorporated into clinical trials and to some degree less used within clinical practice. However, PROMs are now being used in clinical practice to enhance communication between doctors and their patients, to help patients input directly into their own care, and more broadly, to inform commissioners from a patient perspective how services should be designed and redesigned. An example of the use of PROMS at a national level is the NHS PROMS programme. Within the PROMS programme, four elective surgical procedures are mandated for the collection of PROMS data. These four interventions are hip and knee replacement, groin hernia and varicose vein surgery. Patients attending for one of these interventions will typically complete a PROM prior to their surgery and then the same PROM a few weeks afterwards. This information, along with the surgical and clinical detail, will provide surgeons with information on the effectiveness of the intervention. There are a bewildering array of PROMs covering all types of diseases and conditions. However, PROMs fall into a number of distinct categories. For instance, we have generic PROMs, which are not specific to any disease or condition and which will allow data to be compared across different disease areas. An example of a generic PROM is the Warwick Edinburgh Mental Wellbeing Scale. On the screen is an example of a PROM. Along the left hand side are the items which the patients or service users respond to using the rating scale provided at the top. In addition to generic PROMs, there are also disease-specific, condition-specific and even treatment-specific PROMs. An example of a disease-specific PROM and one which is used in the NHS PROMs programme is the Oxford HIP score. PROMs such as the Oxford HIP score provide more specific information about the patient's condition. However, unlike generic PROMs, these cannot be used to compare across different conditions or diseases. So what is a right PROM? A right PROM is one that has been developed with patients and service users to ensure that it covers those domains considered most important to them. A right PROM is one that has evidence of reliability and validity that is, it measures what it claims to measure and does this consistently. An important aspect of a PROM is its ability to detect change. If you are using a PROM to monitor service user progress or as an indicator of quality, for instance, the PROM needs to be sensitive enough to detect meaningful changes. Being clear on what you want from a PROM also has a bearing upon what the right PROM is. For instance, are you introducing a PROM for use during consultations between patient and clinicians, or as a more overarching method of stimulating quality improvement across a trust? I hope I've been able to provide you with a basic understanding what PROMs are. If you would like to know more about PROMs, about their uses and the evidence underpinning them, then please see my second webinar in the series. Our website also provides additional resources including a What Are Proms summary document.